Hi there. Question 1.13, I only wanted you to do parts A and B. Question C asks you to work backwards and draw the histogram from the ogive, and that's just not a skill that I think is that important. It's much more important to be able to look at the question in context and interpret what you see. So what this represents is an ogive where we are comparing the amount of money spent by shoppers to the relative cumulative frequency. So part A, estimate the center of the distribution and explain your method. Well, we can estimate the median by looking at a relative cumulative frequency of 50%. So when we get to 50%, that should tell us that half of shoppers spent less than that amount and half of shoppers spent more than that amount. So on the calculator, this is where we would have used that horizontal line method. So on this question, I'm just going to draw a little horizontal line there at about 50%. There we go. So it takes me to this location on the ogive. So I can go straight down from that location and find that value on the horizontal axis. So that value looks like it's right around here. So this suggests that the median amount spent by shoppers is about $27. So in other words, 50% of shoppers spent, 20, spent less than $27 at this particular store. And again, this is an estimate of the median. The median is literally the halfway point. So in order to find that halfway point, I should be able to use the relative cumulative frequency of 50%. So in part B, you're working the other direction. It says, what is the relative cumulative frequency for a shopper who spent $17? So now I'm going to go the other way. Here's $15. So this is approximately $17. So I'm just going to draw up onto my ogive here. There it is. This is approximately the point that I am looking for. So going then over to the y-axis, it looks like I'm pretty close to a relative cumulative frequency of 20%. So what that says, right about here at 20%. So what that tells us, 20% of shoppers spent less than $17 at this store. So it's just using the ogive, but going the other direction. Given the value on the x-axis, $17 going to the ogive, it gives me the percentage that corresponds to that. And specifically, that tells me that 20% of shoppers spent less than that amount that I had found on the x-axis. Constructing an ogive is not as important as being able to interpret an ogive, and that's what the AP practice question is about on uh, your ogive online assignment. That's the next thing that you want to make sure that you have done. Um, same thing too, my guess is ogive questions like this aren't that common on the free response portion of the AP exam. But understand, I don't get to, as your teachers, see a lot of the multiple choice questions. So my suspicion is if this is evaluated on an AP exam, this would be a multiple choice question. And that's something that could be done using the techniques like we just did in part A and B of this question. So this isn't a fancy question or a complicated question, but it's the kind of interpretation I think if you would see it, this is what you'd be likely to see. Hope this has been helpful. Good luck.